and welcome to Fresh and Foraged. I thought it would be fun to forage for some sheep sorrel today before the snow settles in, basically until May. Um, so it's kind of the last chance to gather some leafy greens and there's a lot of sheep sorrel happening here because the soil is like not a really great quality. So the sheep sorrel is like, poor soil? I don't care. This is my home now. So there's lots of sheep sorrel everywhere. So it's uh, a really nice, sour green kind of like a cousin to wood sorrel so i thought we would pick as much as we can until our fingers go numb and then make a little bit of soup out of it and the soup is uh has a really great flavor it's naturally sour from the leaves and you know we thicken it with a roux and add some spinach to make it nice and green and it's a nice really hearty brothy soup it's still kind of light but it's really good. So I figured we would do that and I will make a separate video on sheep sorrel ID. And that's all for now. So join us in the kitchen and we'll get sheep sorrel in. Bye. Alrighty, let's get started on that soup. To start off, we're going to use four handfuls of sheep sorrel leaves. We're also gonna add two large handfuls of spinach to the washing basin, top it off with some water, kind of gently agitate it with your hands to get that sand out of there, and you know, let it sit, let the whole thing sit for a few minutes, um, just kind of let the sand and grit fall to the bottom. Then you're kind of gonna come in with a little claw, like one of those old timey games where you kind of try and get stuffed animals, and you're gonna claw up some greens, so maybe this is the adult version of that game. And you know, you know, you can either set them on some paper towels to dry. If you, if you have a salad spinner, now would be a great time to employ that. And now let's get working on the roux. So, to start off, we're going to melt about two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of unsalted butter. As soon as that's nice and melted, we're going to plop in the flour. A quarter cup of flour, give that a good stir. Make sure everything's all mixed up and it's going to kind of gently bubble for the next three or so minutes. We're going to stir it constantly until it smells slightly of pie crust and it starts to become a little tan. This is known as a pale or a blonde roux. Now it's time to grab your whisk and start whisking in four cups of hot vegetable stock, whisking all the while to prevent the formation of undesirable lumps. And once all of the roux is incorporated with the stock, we're going to set that over a medium-low heat for about 10 minutes until the soup has pleasantly thickened. Now, while the soup is thickening, it's time to get started on wilting those greens. Pour about two tablespoons of a neutral oil, such as rice bran or canola, in a skillet set over medium-high heat. And once it's warm, plop in those greens from before and wilt them for about 60 seconds. You'll notice the sheep sorrel quickly discoloring. And once they're done wilting, we're gonna plop them right into that soup, the pleasantly thickened soup. Grab your immersion blender, give them a little whiz, and you've got yourself a nice green sheep sorrel soup on your hands. Now take a little taste of that, adjust it, add a little salt or pepper if the flavor calls for it. It should have a pleasant tang from the sheep sorrel. So there you have it, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed that recipe for sheep sorrel soup and that it might be that little bit of comfort, that last leafy green that can help you make a peaceful transition from late autumn into early winter when there are no more fresh greens. <laughs> so stay tuned for more exciting recipes. I have not one but two delicious cookie recipes in the works. There's a green one and a red one. One has nuts, one doesn't. So. Stay tuned, those should be up pretty soon, and wishing you a happy and healthy start to the autumnal slash wintry festivities. Bye. Bah! 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 Bah!